January 30th, 2008. From Atlanta, hi, I'm Brad Fallon. Welcome to the Free Line. First up, Fast Company just announced the beta of their new online community that focuses on innovation and business ideas. You don't need an invite to sign up, so check it out. Inc. Magazine is said to be starting one too, and that's probably natural since both Inc. and Fast Company are owned by Morningstar CEO and founder Joe Mansueto. Next, a Freeline viewer sends in a tip for iPod owners. When your battery gives out, you have to send it in and wait a while to get it back, right? Well, iPodJuice.com has a great free video showing you how easy it is to replace the battery of your iPod. And we have a free video that shows how to use your iPhone to record a podcast of a meeting. You need to be a little technical for this. It involves tweaking the software of your iPhone, but if you're a bit geeky, it's pretty cool. Next is StumbleUpon edging out dig in popularity, even among bloggers. A recent online survey showed that StumbleUpon is by far the most popular social bookmarking site, with the rest trailing far behind. Next, a few free SEO tools to mention if you don't already have them. SEO Quake and Search Status are browser plugins that let you see SEO-related information every time you visit a web page. SEO Quake works in both Firefox and IE. And if you want to track how you're doing in the search results over time for a bunch of different keywords and then save the results automatically, that's what SERP Archive does. All the links are at freelinereport.com, and of course, they're all free. Finally, according to domaintools.com, Google's cracking down on temporary domains that stay up long enough to just bring in some AdSense revenue and then close down before they even have to pay for the domain. It works for sites less than five days old. It's called domain tasting, and it took advantage of the fact that you could cancel a domain within five days and not pay anything. Court documents reveal that Google makes a tidy profit from these website owners, but they're stopping it. Now we'll see if Yahoo follows suit. Until next time, for the Free Line, I'm Brad Fallon.